Welcome to episode two of the Festival Flashback. Hopefully you'll have watched episode one to get an idea of what this is about. But basically, we are covering festivals around the world. Old ones, basically, from the early 80s, 90s, noughties, and even up to 2018, basically. If it was in the past, we're going to cover it. The format works. We have a stein filled with festivals written down. We randomly pick one, go in there, take it out, bring it up in the computer, and then talk through it. So you're going to reach in and have a yeah, go. Yeah, I'm going to go and root it around. This one. Ooh. So, ooh, Tusker Open Air 2011. Tusker Open Air 2011. Yeah. Um, I've never actually heard of this one. I've no idea where it is, so I'm quite intrigued. Tusker. Tusker. Where's Tusker? I don't know where Tusker is. Helsinki. Hel Helsinki, Finland. Wait, what year was it? Right, oh Tusker okay. Open Air 2011. Okay, so, so start the club stage, because it looks like it goes... Yeah, we'll do, it's four stages, stage split across three days. We had the club stage, the Inferno stage, the EMP stage, and the Radio Rock stage. Not exactly the most ambitious of names, no. but I guess sponsorship is what it is. Yeah. But it seems like this is the biggest one in Finland. Mm. Um, certainly, certainly one that I knew beforehand, never ever been to. No. Don't know if it'd be one that'd ever really be on my radar either, because it looks mostly like it's pretty much carbon copy of the likes of Wacken, yeah. um, Hellfest, and so on. 2011, so a little bit more modern. We'll recognise a few, but also struggle with a lot, I think. Yeah, definitely. So we'll start with the club stage. Okay. Go for them. Cavus, not heard of. Other way down, look. Cause for effect, 1345. Oh, okay. So it's... Down. Um, oh, excuse me, because I always put it top. So like the last one will be on. But anyway, so start with Calls for Effect. I don't Not know them. Off, no. Oran Oranzi Pazuzu. Love the name. Yeah. Love the name, but I don't know I them. Pazuzu, just Pazuzu on its own. Um, Gors Gorazers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to presume. Up, I'm going to presume this club stage is more of a, a showcase for maybe local bands, yeah. like Finnish bands. P which possibly makes, makes sense, yeah, because it seems like the smallest stage as well, and it seems like it doesn't run as late either. If you look at it, it doesn't run as late. Yeah, and I'd say like our knowledge of Tusker is very, very limited. Mm. Very, very limited. Mm, definitely. So yeah, not much on that one. But looking at it, it looks like the stage is finished early. Is that just me being? It does. It does. So, I don't know if maybe time difference or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit Because the, the, the gaps between them, I don't know, but there you go. But it was 2011, it's quite easy, it was a lot smaller. Yeah. But you didn't finish that stage either. Cavus. And Lighthouse oh, no, Project. Lighthouse Project. Okay, so I'm skipping over, skipping over bands. Don't know even of them. Lighthouse Project sounds a bit, I don't really like that name. But I wouldn't. And Cavus, yeah, I don't know any of them really, no. unfortunately. We'll jump to the Inferno stage then yeah. for day one. We have Aminium, Gatherum. I've heard of them. Have you? I've heard of them. Okay. Yeah. No, um, not familiar to me. quite heavy. I've not heard of them, but the name rings a bell because I like the name of it. Hell. The Mighty Hell. Oh, Lovely, yeah. great UK band. Amazing, amazing band. Big fan of them. Love Great live at Bloodstock two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, um, even with a putting a great show, putting a great show. There's a warning, wasn't there? To the photographers. Yeah, about that, pyro. Know, yeah, there, there's a lot of pyro. So if your cameras get damaged, like it's on you. We, we've told you, which is a pretty cool warning. Yeah. I took a picture of it. I was like, that's amazing. So yeah, that would have been a big shout for us. Um, Grave. I know of them, mm. but I'm not familiar with their music. And the same with Spiritual Beggars. Mm. Same with Spiritual Beggars. Then we have the EMP stage. A uh, Black Breath. I heard. I think I've heard of them. I think you might be getting quite, confused oh, with someone else because yeah, a lot of bands black, with the word black, black at the black start, in. you know. A uh, Bulldozer, familiar with again. Mm. Um, obviously, yeah, Electric Wizard, yeah. uh, Doom Legends, really. That would have been good. They, they, and then Killing Joke. Uh, yeah, Killing, yeah. Killing Joke's a bucket list band for me, mm. basically. I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I haven't got many bucket list bands yeah, left, but, it's still on but Killing Joke are definitely one that's still on there. Yeah. And then what I guess must be the main stage. And I've got to say, man, oh, mm. oh, I'm not sure if I'd, I'd have put, been really up for this. Yeah, I would have put somebody else, but I would have put Hell on the main stage. But again, this is eight years ago. so I want to put Killing Joke on there as well. We've got Forbidden. There's only four bands. This, this lineup's really weird. Basically, four bands per stage with like, it's hard to know how long they played for because it's like two hour gaps between each one. Yeah. So I'm guessing there was no Clashes, clashes at all. Yeah. Which I, I like the idea of. I don't because basically, mm -hmm. I suppose you've got that's variety. That's you've got to see. Yeah, yeah, if there's nothing on yeah. for like hours and hours, you've got no choice but to do nothing. Yeah. yeah. If you've been to Tusker, please let us know what mm -hmm. the what it's like that in works. that regards. Yeah. Um, Forbidden, 
Not heard of. Arch Enemy. Oh, it's Arch Enemy. That was, still would have been with Angela Angela's. back in the day. Arch yeah. Enemy oh, were, were always a good band live. They were always good. She was a, she uh, was a, good front woman. a great front woman, you know. Um, same as current one is as well. Um, Melissa? Melissa? Yeah. Alyssa. 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 Yeah. Alyssa. Alyssa. Then we got At The Gates. Oh, this is 2011. You've got to remember as well. Like, kind of got to do this in your head. We're like, this oh, is At The Gates. Yeah. So they're none of any music. It would probably be more of a best of of their big hitters. Mm. Um, still would have been good, I think, oh, yeah, but I don't know if it would have been as good. And of course, Morbid Angel. Angel. Yeah. yeah. Never seen them, so I'll be like, <clears throat> over that. Yeah. Right. Then we get to Ooh. day two. So we start with the club stage again, mm -hmm. and this time we've got a fair few more bands on it. Yeah. We've got seven, but not familiar other than Flesh Press. We've got Mononin, Mononin, Mon 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 <clears throat> Flesh Press, good band, Medea, Feastum. Oh, that one. Axgressor, no. Hooded Menace, and, and Rotten Sound. Sound. So Familiar with any like of them? Smaller ones, so no, none of them ones. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And we go to the Inferno stage where we've got four bands. What the fuck? <laughs> migraine? My, I get it. Migraine. Migraine, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Moon Sorrow, obviously a uh, great folk metal band. Church of Misery? Hmm. No. No. Of them. Ghost. Huh. Eight years ago. So Ooh. that's intriguing, isn't it? Mm. Tusker was ahead of the curve mm. with Ghost. I thought, yeah, when did, they, when, when did we first get, get Ghost? Certainly into not that early. early. 714? That's almost quite a, that's almost quite a surprise, really. Mm. They must have really had fuck all material. Yeah. Huh. Ooh, interesting one, that one. They were very ahead of the curve with that one. Mm. Yeah. Because we saw Ghost, first time we saw Ghost, they only had one album. Yeah. And they were putting a headliner slot and they struggled. Mm. It was like, here's an ABBA cover, which obviously they would end up doing. Yeah. It was like, that sucked. Um, <clears throat> the EMP stage. Yeah. We've got Witchery, great band. I've not heard of anything by them, but you know them. Tarot. No, cool name. And then we get, again, the more folky kind of mm. metal side of things with Winter Sun and mm. Enslaved, Enslaved. Both great bands. Good stage, that. I yeah. think the mix, um, certainly a lot more of that with Moon, Moon Sorrow, Winter Sun and Enslaved. Mm. And then we get to the main stage, strong main stage for day two. Like, even though there's only four bands, with the mix of that was on the second stage. Yeah. It's and really probably good. the curiosity of like ghosts and stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretty good day two. We've got Epica, mm. but it's Epica, still going strong now. Mm. Cationia, still going strong yeah, now. Yeah, I like them. So I'd be well up for them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Blind Guardian, obviously, obviously the legends yeah. that are Blind oh, Guardian. That is so cool. Yep. Yeah. And um, Devon Townsend Project. Yeah. Mm. What's interesting about this as well, this is Blind Guardian before their sort of album return. So again, it would have been kind of like a, a nostalgia thing almost to a point yeah. with uh, Blind Guardian more than anything else. And Devon Townsend Project, Project. Ooh, which is yeah, always great, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, we have seen. Sorry, it's yeah. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, and that was amazing. So yeah, I'd be bang up for that. Really, day two of 2011's Tusker was really, really good. Really, really good. Day Ooh. three. So day three has less bands somehow. This festival's weird. Mm. Really weird. So we've got five in the club stage. Mm. We've got Carnalation, no. Total Safe Hatred, H Hatred, Shining. Yeah, wow. So that's not like a, that's not local in a sense. Well, no, they are from Finland. They're from Finland. They're Norwegian. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Norwegian. Mm. Local. Local. Scandinavian. Yeah. Just a hop skip across the whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Shining. So still, they're a bloodstock this year, aren't they? Shining. Are they? Is it the Shining I'm thinking of? Not the Shining. That there's two, isn't there? There's You're one about with the like saxophone. Saxophone. That, that, that's that shining. That shining. Yeah. And then there's the one. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you're yeah, thinking someone else. Gaff. <laughs> Gaff, don't know. Him. No. And Black Crucifixion. Weirdly enough, what weird, do they play? <laughs> weirdly enough, Black Crucifixion. I literally wrote a new, a new album review this very last oh, week. Wicked. That's very right. last so week. Still, so that's cool it. as fuck. I like, I like yeah. Like the Inferno stage, EMP stage, and Radio Rock stage have three bands each. Mm. Jesus, there wasn't much going on. Yeah. <clears throat> the gaps are huge. Impaled Nazarene. I don't believe this band's still around anymore. No, I don't know the name though, because it's because it obviously yeah. must That's... piss people off. <laughs> uh, Jex Forth. Again, oh. another band I've heard of. Really? Just because it's a weird name. Like, yeah. Weird names, that's what you've got to have. It's got to stay in your brain and go, that's a weird name. But yeah, nothing I've heard of. Uh, Misery Index. Yep, yeah, they're still around, aren't they? I don't know. I'm sure they are. I don't know. Yeah, again, another weird name that sticks in your brain. But... And then, right, before we talk about these next two stages, mm -hmm. I know we're still running through the others, but... Tusker in 2011, was it just to find a band and stick them on no matter what? Regardless, how do you go from Calvatac to Agonostic Front to Tourists? Yeah. 
That's the three bands at EMP. I'm not complaining. It'd be great. Hell the Tax Fantastic. Agonostic Front yeah. um, would be great to see them live yeah. and probably best at a festival yeah. as well. And Tourist yeah. 2011 Tourist oh, as well. Top of the bill. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that stage is great fucking fun. See great that? fun. And it's very varied. Yeah. Very, very. I think, you see, now, now I'm sort of looking at these bands and hear the name. I'm sure I see pictures of a festival where, like, it literally looks like a picket fence in front of the stage. Is, oh, is this so it? Maybe it's the one I'm thinking of. Like, it looks really did a live, live DVD yes. of this. Maybe that's what I'm... Maybe it is. I have to learn. Before we come up... Next time we come back to Tusker, because this was all at random, next time we come up with Tusker, we'll have a little bit more knowledge about it. Next time it comes up, we'll have looked into it and find out where exactly it is. But we're doing this on the fly. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to do it beforehand, yeah. if we're doing it randomly, at least. And then we get the three bands on the main stage. We get Meshuggah. The sugar are solid. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't want to, like nowadays don't find them particularly exciting live. Yeah, but but they're still the sugar. They're still good. Yeah. Uh, Amorphous. Oh, I like Amorphous. Yeah. 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 I, I like the lead, the, the, that the vocalist. So good. Yeah. And then we get Amal Amarth. And what's interesting about that is this is way before Amal Amarth kind of really became I think pop. Even though they've been around ages, twenty plus years I, I think, think. Yeah, they've hit their stride like recently. In the last five years, I'd say they've really kind of come into their own and become more of a popular band. Yeah. So yeah, it's interesting again to see Tusker put them effectively headliner. Yeah, last band on on the third day. Mm. Yeah, so the Tusker on this whole bill overall was certainly certainly ahead of the uh, the curve in that regards. If it's small as I'm thinking it was from the pictures I saw, it that was good fun. Yeah, it's an interesting it's one. An intimate little festival. Really intimate. Yeah. Really intimate. I like the sound of that. But yeah, certainly, uh, certainly, certainly, the mix of varied mix. I think if you're, it's good to have like that, obviously, but um, weird as well. Mm. Yeah, there you go. That's Tusker Open Air 2011. Make sure you check back in future for other episodes. We'll be covering randomly again. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.